All right, <clears throat> Chronicles from the Sauna. This is a big day. Not only is it a big day because this is all the testing that's going on for the let's uh, let's make a change or let's change together. Man, my, my brain is just fried right now. Um, and, uh, you know, it's the first day I've decided to fast as well. You know, like if if I'm really going to get into this, I'm like, I'm going to get into this and I'm, I'm going to fast. I'm going to just metabolically flush my body. You know, I'm going to put myself through all this testing and like, let's just see, like, let's just see what it says. Let's see what the results are. Like, I have no idea. They could be horrible. You know, like they could be great. We don't know. Um, you know, so I ate last around, you know, like nine thirty, ten o'clock last night, you know, went to bed at 11, you know, woke up at five, you know, felt like moderately refreshed, you know, felt okay. You know, good six hours of sleep. I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I got up in the morning and I recorded a little bit of a podcast about, you know, the nerves kind of kicking in a little bit, just knowing that, you know, like there's going to be this big shift in the coming days, you know, like in my day-to-day operation and my diet, um, I had a shower, you know, made myself a triple long pour espresso, just, you know, love the taste of these espressos in this new coffee machine that I got. And it just, um, yeah, it's like addicting. I just love them. I love them first thing in the morning, you know, before I have anything else when everything's still kind of calm and quiet and, you know, I just get after it. Um, I never normally eat when I leave in the morning. I never normally pack anything because I always usually fast till around like 11, 12, 1 PM anyway and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I kind of got my gear ready and, you know, got out the door, um, you know, like roughly about like six o'clock, you know, made it to the gym out here in South Surrey, you know, big share with the Sandcastle Fitness and, um, you know, like down to 8,500 milligram ginseng, you know, cause I knew I was going to play some squash for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, you know, like what I do every day is just a part of, uh, um, a warm up that I do for this class out here. And, um, it actually turned in to like a 60 minute war. Like I'm talking like brutal war, just an absolute ruthless war. Seven games that played more like nine games. And it just robbed me of like everything. Like it just, you know, like I was just on it, on fire, just clean in house. You know, I fizzled off a little bit of energy towards the end. And the guy that I play with, you know, he's extremely experienced, a very skilled player. Um, his skills superseded, you know, like my energy when it started to fade out at the end. And um, he came back and beat me four games to three. But, um, you know, like it just, it felt really good. But like talk about all days, you know, like, you know, like this is the thing about life. Like, like what's the deal here? Like I decide to fast. This is the day of my testing. You know, like I'm already going to get thrown under the bus physically anyway. You know, I've been waiting for this for months. And then all of a sudden, like I play this like 60 minute war of squash. I burnt 930 calories, you know, playing that game of squash. And I'm not going to eat anything before this fitness testing. I was like, damn it. You know, like I just, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But like today, really, come on, mind, come on, body, you know, come on, world, you know, like just throw me a little bit of a break. But, you know, I'm like, this is what life is. It's completely unexpected. You know, there's no two ways about that. Like this is thoroughly 100% just life, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'm like, I got it. Totally fine. Trying to find every excuse to have like a little bit of food. I'm like, no, man, you got this. And, you know, so... Finished that class, trained a client, went to Walmart, picked up a new SD card, and then came back and, um, you know, just kind of got things prepared. You know, we downloaded these apps and then just got right into the fitness testing. And, you know, we started off with like the um, the metabolic age, the biolog- biological age, and, um, you know, like my girth measurement, my height to weight ratio, my height, my weight, like my body fat percentage, bone mass, like the whole bit, like we just, we went for it. It's, it's all the stats. Like we're going to go for it. Um, you know, found out my body fat percentage was like 18.9% and you know, it's all relative. I, I pounded back as much water as I could after playing all that squash just to be able to try to have some accurate numbers as possible. But you know, Hey, I, all I know is next time I go into this testing, I need to get six hours of sleep. I need to have a triple long pour espresso, you know, a half an hour, 45 minutes later, I need to have an 8,500 milligram ginseng. And then however I'm going to do it, I need to get in an hour of just intense cardio, you know, that's it. That's all I have to do to be able to keep the numbers accurate. So, um, you know, we went into that and then it was, um, 
you know, we went into the low plank, went to the static wall squat. Like those were both just battles in my mind. I really wanted to see through five minutes on both, but you know, four minutes kind of broke me and I can't say that it was like the most brutal. Um, but again, when you're so used to listening to music and you know, having that a part of your process, you know, it just, it crippled me without having it because I was just left, you know, to all like the thoughts floating around in my mind, which I don't mind. I like that. Um, you know, but when you're going through things where you just need to be able to shuttle all that out, I lasted four minutes. Um, then it was on to the battle ropes, which, uh, I thought five minutes on the battle ropes would be long. Um, you know, but cruised through five minutes, got to five minutes, I think 45 seconds. And, you know, like it just, it wasn't that hard. Like I literally stuck. So I was bored. Like that was doing battle ropes for anything longer than five minutes. Just is boring you know like if nick didn't tell me that it was five minutes i probably would have went to 10. um there was really nothing in me that was saying that i need to stop um you know and that has like absolutely nothing to do like i had some thai food and a couple guinnesses last night so it's not like you know i'm not eating like a perfect diet here you know i just kind of like that was the randomness of what life threw at me last night so you know like that's just what it was um you know after that we went into uh you know into the uh, flat barbell bench press, 170 pounds, my weight, you know, like I got it. I can post up on it. You know, I'm not banging out, you know, 15, 20, 25 reps. I just, in my mind, I'm like five and out, five and out, five and out. And I started to like creep up on me and, you know, got into like the twenties and stuff, but like, you know, like that wall, I hit it hard, you know, like the body was just, it was dying, you know, by that point in time, just coming off those ropes and going right onto the bench press. Like, I know if people are analyzing this, like you should have never have done that, you know, maybe go into like the squats and give the arms, the upper body a little bit of break, but it's like, why? Life's not going to give me a break like that. Life's just going to kind of keep on pushing at me, keep on punching at me in any way that it wants to. I can't make it easier. I can't shuffle things around to be able to make it easier. So yeah, put me in, put me on the bench press. I like it. Let's get after it. After that, we went to the 170 pound barbell back squat. Same thing, felt heavy right away. Hamstrings felt trashed from the squats, like, or from squash this morning um, on those squats. It was just like, I could feel it right away. Felt the squash legs, absolutely. And, you know, by this time, the energy is starting to fade down a little bit. Because, again, fasting and doing all this, like, cardio and all this activity up until this point, definitely started to feel it on the squats. Uh, the chin-ups went well, you know, I knew I was going to hit like that little bit of wall, probably around like 15, 20 mark. And I did, you know, just again, set my mind, same thing as the bench press. I did the same strategy on the barbell back squats, five, five in my mind. So I want to just five, um, and just keep repping it out. Shorter breaks, shorter rep ranges, just bang, bang, bang. Um, you know, and everything I kind of got mid to high twenties, you know, in that two minute time mark. Um, the barbell deadlift, same thing, you know, 170 pounds. Um, I knew I should have stopped at five on the first round, but I was like, you know, I feel good. This bar wasn't that heavy, but again, it was the hamstrings. It was like, my hamstrings were just murdered, just marked, marked. Um, and that was tough and stuff. So, you know, again, got into like the high twenties, but fighting the battle, not for any other reason, except for just the hamstrings, you know, then we get over to the run. The one mile run, you know, when I got on that treadmill, because, you know, of course I'm going to do it on the assault run. I'm not going to do it on a regular treadmill, you know, and I was kind of thinking, I'm like, well, is, is it eight minute mile? You know, like when people are running that, like on the road, running on assault runner is going to be like, you know, pretty close to that because it's, you know, 14% harder than a regular treadmill. I could have easily hopped on a treadmill and, and beat my time. But again, I'm not looking to be able to make things easier on myself. I'm looking to be able to stack the cards against myself and just really understanding like kind of where my human potential lies based on what my everyday life gives me. You know, the same reason why like I had a metabolic age of 35, but a biological age of 40, you know, like I'm kind of like right around, you know, my, um, my age range. And I was thinking that, you know, that's not, that's not necessarily good. I'm going to be younger, but I'm like, if I beat my body down as hard as what I do all the time, you know, and I'm either my age or maybe plus five years, like that's not bad at all. Cause that five years on the biological age, like I can recede that easily anytime, you know, hence like the fasting and stuff like that. Right. Um, yeah, but again, back to the treadmill before I got on, you know, I looked at Nick and I was like, Hey Nick, man, you know, can I wear my earbuds? And he's just like, I'm like, is that cheating if I put my earbuds on now? And he was like, well, we haven't worn them yet. So if we would have started off that way, I would have been like, yeah, of course. But he's like, you can't put them on now. And I was like, fuck, because I know that. I know that, son. I know that. 
That's not what I wanted to hear. But I like how you just went, mm, ah, and you just put me in my place like that shit. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. You ain't putting those earphones on. So, again, post up, ran. All the things that I hate about running started coming into my mind. Started hearing, like, the machine move, hearing my feet land, you know, feeling like my left calf or my left calf starting to cramp up. You know, my right knee starting to get a little twinge of pain to it. I could hear my breath, <gasps> you know, like, feeling you know, the shoulders aren't moving. I'm so tight in the upper body from just doing all this lifting. Never mind my body is trash from working out the last couple of days and squash and everything anyway. So it was tight coming into the day, but that's all right. But I'm like, I'm going to forge. I'm like, look down at those watts. Like, just, just try your best to keep it as close to a thousand watts as possible. You want to run at a thousand watts. Like, I don't care how many kilometers I've run. I don't care what my pace time is. I want to run a thousand watts. You know, like that's, that's where I want to be. You know, I want to know that I'm like pushing. You know, so it was kind of like bounce around like 850, 900, 950,000. I closed off like the last, you know, um, half a mile and stuff on, uh, you know, coming up around like 10, 50, 1100. Um, you know, it just, I kind of caught my groove. I was fighting it, but my body had started to come in condition to it. Like, this is just what we are doing now. And, uh, and yeah, and it just wrapped it all up. You know, and if there's going to be any day where the endorphins are going to be running like through my body, like today is going to be that day, you know, and like these are the days that we all look forward to. And when it comes to physical activity, it's like, this is what it's all about. So I only got today, tomorrow and Saturday to be able to kind of like enjoy my life without any kind of real restrictions. Because on Sunday, you know, a fantastic life app every day, plugging it in, you know, wait, sleep meals carnivore diet lock it in 31 days you got it we got this is there 31 days in march no whatever you know which is gonna be tough because like spring breaks in there too like a lot of like upside like just travels in there the whole bit but bring it you know because the whole point behind the let's make a change and let's change together is like let's do this like i'm gonna struggle you're gonna struggle but like just start with something start with something small you got this you know, like just drinking the water, taking the apple cider maker, something small, small incremental changes because that's what it's going to be all about. And like, let's struggle together. Let's change together. Let's make change. Let's create change. This is what it's all about. Fact finding for all of us. So um, I'm sitting in the sauna right now, you know, like after this, uh, you know, like this testing with Nick, you know, because the body's just feeling a little beat up right now. You know, hop in the shower after this for my third shower today, just because the way that it's all worked out. And, um, and I'm headed off to, you know, meet up with one of my really good friends. You know, him and I are just going to have like a little little chit chat before a little, little business meeting. And uh, then it's off to Ariel's uh, Vitality Wellness. And uh, we're going to get down there and kind of see what's going on on the inside. See what's going on emotionally, see what's going on physically on the inside because we already know the rest of it today. So um, peace out to you guys. Thanks for following along. And again, let's change together.